Oh yeah, I've yeah. got a lot more time to play than I did. I was uh, working 40 hour, 40 hour weeks uh, as, a, as an intern at the, uh, the VA hospital for uh, the past eight months, uh, pretty much for the most part. So uh, yeah, I've got, a lot, I've got a lot more time now. <laughs> Yes, yes, uh, I was doing all of that, I still, uh, you know, I would do that during the day, and as soon as I would get off work, I would go uh, to the water school of Jiu Jitsu in LA in the evening, and I would, uh, I'd, I'd teach the kids program out there, and I would teach the work classes uh, as well, and of course, when Chris Rockwell was out of town, I would uh, cover his classes, so yeah, full day, and then uh, when the advanced class was over, uh, I would do uh, my own training again. You know, uh, I have a lot of uh, my own thoughts and opinions about the rules and uh, where they should be. Um, you know, I've, I've done plenty of interviews now uh, on non written interviews and even with the uh, Open Night Radio uh, where, where I talk about the rules. You know, I, I think the sub only rules are, are, are really good. You know, um, probably like the, in, 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 for Jiu Jitsu, it's like the purest form. I, I, think I think they're great. However, for a widespread, large, um, for, for, for every tournament circuit to adopt those kind of rules, I think is very unrealistic to do. Um, there'd be no way you could run a tournament um, on a certain schedule, uh, you know, that, that could be done with that kind of format of rules for like everybody and every belt. And so, uh, for, for, for these big like super fight, you know, tournaments, there's only like four or five matches or whatnot. I, I think they're just fine. Or if you want to do something, you know, like, like the BJJ Kuma table, you know, I, I think that's, the, those kind of rules are great for that. But for Jiu Jitsu on a, on, a, on a wide scale, for tournaments to be held, you know, nationwide or whatnot, for like, you know, white belts, blue belts, tournaments are going to hold like all belt divisions and everything. Um, I don't think it's you know, possible or practical. You know, I think, yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's great, you know, with the steroid testing, you know, like, me personally, my personal stance is like, I've never really cared one way or the other, like, you know, whether someone does steroids or doesn't do steroids, I'm, I'm more worried about me and bringing my best game to the tournament, I'm not going to, you know, sit back and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to use it as a sort of for myself, like, well, you know, the guy uses steroids, or he uses steroids, you know, like, like, to me, that's not really what is important to me. But me and my own performance, and am worrying more about myself than my opponent is most important to me. So, but I think, I think it's I think it's going to be really interesting to see because, like, I, I guess it's like every, and I'm not, I'm not too sure about this, but I think it's like what every black belt medalist uh, is going to be tested. So, there'll be definitely, I'm sorry? It's 18 people out of the black belt finalists. 18 people out of the black belt finalists. That's, it, it, I mean, it'll be really interesting to see how it all turns out. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's great though, you know, because there's, you know, uh, is, is supposed to be, uh, or they've never been regulated really before now. But it'll be, it'll be great, it'll be interesting to see how it all turns out. Oh man, I'm always looking to, to test myself, push myself, um, you know, uh, against the highest level. I think that those are the guys that you want to have matches against. Like, you know, you want to be the best, you got to fight the best, you know, as many times as possible. So, obviously, you know, you know, you know I love testing myself against, you know, the best guys. Rafa Mendes, Cabrini, but, um, you know, another matchup that's always been uh, kind of thrown around at me was uh, a matchup with Kyle Taylor. So, a matchup like that, I think would be really cool to, uh, Oh no! You weren't gonna bring it up, were you? Um, I woke up just a couple mornings ago to find that the uh, wrestling had been uh, eliminated as one of the sports from the Olympics, and. Um, there were really no words to describe how deeply sad and disappointed I was. Um, you know, like I said, it's what I started out with. My dad got me started between ages of four and five, and you know, to see such a, a, a long time art form um, be eliminated from the Olympics was uh, really honestly heartbreaking, and uh, I, I don't understand why. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of Facebook pages out there. I've joined a couple of them that say wrestling in the Olympics or keep us in the Olympics. Uh, I, I guess
guess there's a couple of, uh, more chances in this rest season to have to repeal it. I think in May and uh, maybe the final the final um, decisions in September, uh, something like that, I believe. So I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, we, you know, West Ham gets enough support and uh, that it gets back in there because I absolutely believe like you know, it's, it's one of like this, you know, Olympics most pure sports out there. So I think it really defines the Olympics too in a lot of ways, especially to get back into like. Greek times or you know, wrestling has always been there. So to see, to see an Olympics without wrestling would be a you know, attraction. You know, it's hard to say, and, and, and I've discussed this a lot with people too, you know, uh, the sport is where it is now because of the rules. The rules make the sport. The art, I mean, there's, there's, there's the art, there's the jiu-jitsu art, what you teach, you know, self-defense and you know, all that kind of stuff is being a martial art. But, you know, the sport aspect of it is always going to be what the rules make it to be. So, I think if you saw some, you know, rule really cool changes, I really truly believe that a lot of these kind of games will uh, disappear. When you think about it, you start talking about bear and bowlers and 50-50s. The bear and bowler are going to have, you know, too much of a problem with like, the double guard bowl. Now, 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 the double guard bowl is, is something that, you know, I... Uh, once you get into a battle like that, and, and really no one is having an advantage, once it goes on after a certain point, I would love to see like a stalemate call added and both guys stood back up. You know, um, I, like I said, I'm not against guard pulling in any way, although it is not my style. Um, but uh, I, I truly believe that you know, some emphasis from the takedown games have been taken away. So seeing some rules to maybe enforce that a little bit more, a little bit more of having to actually engage and pull. Um, and that way, even if takedowns aren't your thing, you're still having to at least drill your defense to it, which I believe is absolutely important, not just for the sport, but for the part and self-defense in and of itself. You know, and, and I've always taken the approach that the rules should be uh, you know, somewhat resemble. This isn't a, a UFC or a or self-defense, it's really someone who throw punches, but it very well could be because the art, you know, the self-defense art that is jiu-jitsu. So knowing that that's out there, uh, the number one thing that I would do, the very first change I would make to the rules would be to do away with the damage limits. Get rid of them. They, 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 this, is, this is about the only sport I think that actually rewards a person for almost. I mean, almost got that on And what does almost really count for? If, if you go for an arm bar and someone is tough enough to get out and they're still on top of you in a self defense situation, they're still going to be throwing punches at your face. Okay? So, you know, as much as you like, you know, as much as powerful an offensive position to guard can be, it is still a disadvantageous position to be on the ball. However, it is the best place to be if you're on the ground. So always being on top of the self-defense art form is going to be superior in my opinion.